Smack fans, one only Smack here, CEO of DP Alternative Energy Designs. We are a not-for-profit organization absolutely and totally dedicated to a petroleum-free future. We've decided to become a Volo chip dealer, which means we have the capability and the capacity to custom burn Volo chips for various vehicle applications to address your vehicle tuning needs. As you can see, our unit includes an OBD2 connector hard soldered into the chip. This means when you receive your Volo chip custom burnt for your application in the mail, when you open the box, you take it out of the box, you plug it directly into your OBD2 connector on your vehicle, you stick the chip somewhere on the interior of the vehicle on the dash, and you are finished. No wiring, no guessing, no trying to figure out what pinouts. We do that for you. It's an absolute plug-and-play system. The other product that we're also offering is this PWM25. This is a 25 amp PWM unit, the integrated cooling fan. But the special feature of this unit is the type of wave that it generates. It's a very sharp square wave thanks to the superior electronics within, within this box. It uses fast switching components which generate a very sharp square wave. And for those of you researching HHO electronics and water splitting technologies, you know that sharp square waves are one way of getting the maximum production of ortho hydrogen. This unit will allow your cell to create more ortho hydrogen, and you can verify that, like we did, performing uh, specific volume explosion tests. You can actually see and hear the difference. You can actually calculate the amount of force exerted and you will find that this unit produces a higher quality gas. Combining that with our titanium technologies which provide a higher quality gas than stainless steel, you will find a superior gas quality and that is key to the performance of these designs. So go to our site. We have a new site, dpenergy.us and also our old site, the old Smax Booster site, is still up and going. Another one of our new products is our anti-foam solution to be used with our Smactanium Gen 6 titanium technology cells. The way we use the anti-foam is we add it to our electrolyte reservoirs. Here shown is a three-quart reservoir which took about 30 drops of anti-foam solution just add it directly into the solution and what it does is reduces the surface tension of the electrolyte liquid inhibiting the formation of fine bubbles which can eventually fill the top of the reservoir and start coming out the exit line and make its way to our gas conditioner the job of the gas conditioner is to catch any liquids any foam that does happen to escape from the reservoir but the bubbler solution minimizes the amount of bubbles that are formed and that could possibly escape the reservoir. We also use about five drops in our gas conditioner for the same purpose of reducing the size of the bubble head on top of the liquid which in turn minimizes to completely eliminate the exiting of any liquid or any bubbles whatsoever from the exit line of the system to the intake of the engine. This will pre prevent water and any potential electrolyte injection into the intake manifold of the engine the unit is being applied to. So to demonstrate the effectiveness of our anti-foam solution, I've taken about 20 ounces of tap water and a small drop of dish soap and mixed it together and I'm running hydrogen gas through this mixture to create bubbles to simulate what you might see in a typical re electrolyzer reservoir.
So without breaking the bubbles out of there by hand or blowing them out, I added a few drops and you can see how it severely calmed the water down and broke the existing bubbles down because of the surface tension reduction qualities of the solution. So this is what you add to your reservoirs and your bubblers to prevent the formation of foam and excessive bubbling which can push electrolyte into your engine intake. This is our largest unit to date. This is our 8 by 8 inch 8 cell titanium substrate smactanium gen 6 electrolyzer unit. This is designed for large diesel engines. This is a forced circulation design. We have a three quart reservoir for this larger cell. An inline pump leading to a distribution manifold. The distribution manifold takes the outlet of the pump and distributes it to the underneath of the cell where electrolyte is forced up through the plates where the hydrogen and oxygen gases are created and then that mixture of electrolyte and gas exits through the top of the cell back to the manifold and then it's distributed through this line into the reservoir where the gas is separated from the electrolyte mixture exits the top of the reservoir and enters our gas conditioner apparatus where any electrolyte that may have escaped the cell is scrubbed any water vapor and liquid droplets any foam that may have been forced through the inlet line to the gas conditioner unit will be trapped in the bubble of water and then pure hydrogen and oxygen gas exits the system right now this unit is drawing approximately 20 amps but the large surface area and large number of plates enables this unit to run up to 60 amps giving you well over three liters per minute of high quality extremely reactive hydroxy gas here's a visual of the gas outlet from this unit running at 20 amps as you can see there's no vapor or mist coming out we'll take a direct shot and we'll do it against a black background you can see there's no mist at all coming out of that line so this is very dry very clean HHO gas at its most reactive no KOH mist no water vapor mist in there don't forget to go to refresheverything.com backslash h2 ev air and vote and help us win the quarter million dollars to make the h2 ev air project a reality an electric vehicle powered by an onboard generator fueled by cellulose alcohol fuels vote every day you can vote up to 10 times a day your votes will count you don't have to buy anything all we need is a couple seconds of your time every day and help us win the money so that we can finish this project which is a worthy cause which is our solution to the BP oil energy crisis no more oil spills no more pollutants in the air this is the solution smack out